Hello, it's Rachel. Today's project is an art journal page and I'm working in my Prima mixed media book. I'm using two different shades of Paper Artsy fresco finish paint. These are Eggplant and Bora Bora. To create my background I've selected some paper artsy stamps. The first one here I'm going to stamp in archival deep purple and the second one I choose to stamp in archival aquamarine. Here I'm using a piece of sequin waste as a stencil and I'm applying some gesso through this using a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam. Now I'd like to add some additional stenciling to the page, this time to create texture. I've chosen a Stencil Girl stencil and I'm using this with Liquitex light modelling paste. Once the modelling paste has dried, my intention was to create a faux rust effect with some patina elements. So I choose for this a variety of Lemire paints and some golden micaceous iron oxide.
Next I've chosen to use some golden matte medium and I do cover the page with this. Um, here I'm just testing out what it's going to look like so I try it on a few areas of the metallic paint before coating the whole page. The reason I wanted to do this is because Lumia paints are particularly shiny and I didn't think that that was the appropriate finish to have for a faux rust effect. So this will not take all the shine off there but it certainly reduces it quite substantially. Next I've chosen to add some rings to my page using one of the lids from my medium and I'm stamping this into some black paint from Galleria. Next I've chosen to use some die cut numbers, these are just cut from a lightweight cardstock using my Big Shot. I'm colouring them initially with some Lumia paint in the colour grape and then I add them to my page with some soft gel medium and distress them further. The reason I've chosen numbers is to do with the quote that I'm going to add to my page later which is about counting and you'll also notice that I started the page with two stamps from Paper Artsy, again these were number themed. For my text I've chosen to use my brother label making machine, I coat this with some matte medium to prep the surface to take paint and then apply some diluted paint, this is the same Lumia paint that I used on the background, that would be the grape colour.
and that was the last step in today's project i hope you enjoyed it if you did i do appreciate it when you hit the like button and leave me a comment there is the usual full product list in the video description as well as links to my social media including my mixed media challenge group over on facebook <music>